This is the first run on the diameter of the capacitor. The original capacitor that's inside. Right here. The gray thing. This is a single pole, 40 amp heavy duty condenser contactor for ream air conditions. This goes in the outside big fan unit for the air conditioner. It's supposed to last about five years. Uh, it's lasted 10 years for us and it's time, this is the old one, and apparently what's happened is the activation voltage usually supposed to be like 26 volts coming in on the sides here uh, there wasn't any voltage there and once I unhooked all the wires and took it out and ran a ohm meter across across here from input to output open so that's not good uh, the large fan just kept kept on turning and spinning and would never shut off until you threw the circuit breaker out next to where the compressor unit is outside. So these are interesting. Amazon was a source of these as well. Uh, the replacement for this guy is 20 bucks. The replacement for the universal cap replacement there's a capacitor that plays with this unit and if you're going to replace one you might as well replace both of them at the same time the, this takes a 55 plus 10 microfarad round dual universe universal uh, capacitor to replace uh, the ring dual, dual uh, capacitor and it was $34 I seen them as cheap as 14 but they're not available I went to two big box stores local to me today and they do not have them they do not stock them it's not a big uh, vast turnover item in a big box store because you know how many people are going to tear their air conditioner apart and try to fix it versus calls Call someone, a repair person, to come out and in charge of three or four hundred dollars. When right now I've I'm probably less than seventy dollars for the two items plus extra shipping. Extra shipping meaning more expedited shipping. But I'm still going to have to to wait almost a week before I get the new replacements. It's plug and play. These little contact blades uh, to the wires that they just plug in into. So as long as you don't kill yourself with 240 volts, it should be okay. <laughs> don't do it if you don't have no uh, experience with high voltage, because it'll fry you quicker than you can shout. It's invisible. Circuit breakers are off. Um, use the multimeter to test for voltage. Uh, capacitor will maintain a charge for a short period of time after it's been de-energized. Uh, that can put you out for sure. So you got to be careful. Uh, always leave it to professionals. So we will wait and see what the new one looks like i know what the new one looks like already it's going to be similar to this but not quite ex exactly uh, and we'll put that one in ourselves and we'll show that that process through the magic of the video we'll go to the next step
Okay, here we're going to go with our test, install the old one again until our new parts come in. Here's the breaker on the wall. Let's try it. This fan should come on as soon as I throw this switch. And it didn't come on. So. That could be a good thing. I don't know. Okay, it's acting like it should now. And the only thing I did differently is I took out the switch. Left it unplugged overnight and reinstalled the switch. Or the contactor. And it works like it should work. So who knows? It's all magic. Now I mean to put the side cover back on this area here. And we'll give it the the acid test, see if it stays working all day. I hope so. That would be an easy fix. And the parts will just be spare parts when they show up next week. Get this air conditioning port back in. It's a new one. It's a different than the old one. Let's take the other one out first. They're nesting or something. Or? Okay, we're getting ready to take the old one out. <coughs> Two screws holding it in. This is the new one. It's going to go in its place. Key on this end. That's where the power comes in. <coughs> okay. Let's take these off. It's just a pinch for the holes to wire in place. 
this and pushes it down there. Yeah, this is the last day of school on most of the neighborhoods. Uh, we've already heard sirens and trucks and it's a trash day pickup. That's a trash truck coming. That's what we hear out there. That's a trash truck. So why I'm changing this is neither the fan nor the compressor would shut off even though everything else inside the house was turned off. And that's usually because this is art inside somehow. Protect from Amazon. It took uh, three or four days to get here. And luckily, the uh, temperature is, is cooler than when I ordered these. When the 
powers applied to the center section should pull right down. There's one that fights you all the time. take apart and take a look inside. I suspect it, the blades are burnt out. Our arc together. That's what I do. You just change the connector. And I'm going to throw the power switch, which is right here. It's on. Nothing's happening. And did that go down? I didn't see it. That center section should click down. You just changed the connector, and we're going to throw the power switch, which is right here. And it's on, and nothing's happening. And did that go down? I didn't see it.
just turn the temperature gauge off inside the thermostat. We'll cycle it one more time. It's three times it's cycled. So I think we're success. This is the contactor, the old one that's 10 years old, that we took out of the air conditioning unit, a ream quiet version. This has a little cover, has a little screw, takes it apart. Um, use an ohmmeter and I found that across here should be shorted and it is across the other side it's an open line. OL is open line. It's open. So we take this apart, take this uh, screw off, pull this out. First we got white smoky dust and if you look closely you can see a spring the spring has sprung. Where is the spring? Oh. <laughs> That's funny. The spring that keeps them apart until there's power and then it slams it together. Without the 26 volts on either side, it's open like that. Look at this spring. Holds these brushes together. It's way over here. It's way over here. Oh, it's on this side. So, yep, it broke. There's the spring. That's supposed to be in there to hold these points. I guess they're called points. So it's pretty well shot. And the 
spring gave up. There's the other half. Wow. There's the points. That's the top half. Half of this point on this end is gone. So it was time to be changed after 10 years. I said they're good for about five years. This got 10, so I was actually lucky. Yeah, that's something. Let's see what that does now. Still an open line, and that's shorted like it's supposed to be. The replacement contactor, which you've already seen, on one side it has a, a T by these two terminal slugs. And on the other side it has an L. The T is the 220 from the house power that would go into the T. And then the L goes down to the condenser and fan. So yeah, it would not fix itself with a point being that messed up. A little springy. That white powder just must be the points material. See that? So that's what happens when they go bad. Hope we got the new one in there and it's working. It's cycling, which is good. Turns it on. The house thermometer setting calls for cooling. Uh, the power from the th thermometer or thermostat goes down to the sides here. 26 volts on both sides. With power that draws these blades together or points together, makes contact to go all the way across. Completes the circuit with the help of the condenser. And here is the uh, new replacement condenser. For my particular unit, which is a rim, this uh, condenser is pretty big. It's 55 plus 10 microfarad, 370 or 440 volts and it's uh, 40 amp it actually has a date and a serial number on it and with expedited shipping and cost was I think 50 bucks for that the switch was $20 sort of color coded. The black here, can you see the black? That's common. The green is fan and this white one is the condenser. That's one that's drawing the 55 microfarads. I didn't change this because it appeared to be working fine. You can only change it if the fan fails to turn on or the condenser fails to turn on because these are 
this is the start condenser. One half starts the uh, condenser, one half starts the fan. And they both appear to be working. However, they're probably due at any moment to be replaced. And this will definitely do it. You know, the compressor is at 55.2 microfarad. And the fan capacitance is at 10 microfarad. It's a little diagram right there. So it's going to go into the into the spare parts room. Pretty fancy box for this compressor or capacitor. Capacitor is made in U.S., but the uh, contactor was made in China. This is the box for the contactor, the new one. Yeah, made in China, right here at the bottom. Don't need that, but I will keep this. This is the uh, for the capacitor. I put a date on the bottom of it so that I would know in the future when I pulled this thing out. And I probably should put a note here. House AC. side so that's all set up should I need it is here what varies is the diameter I've noticed that the diameters are a little bit different but the mounting isn't that critical. You can always use plumber's metal strip tape as a band to hold it to something. And that's fine. Bottom line is you can pay two or three hundred dollars to an air conditioning company to change $60 worth of parts. Or you can buy the $60 worth of parts and do it yourself. What I wanted to do is I wanted to pull up the cost of this of the switch. And that's what I'm looking at right now is is my uh, invoice information and we'll see what we what we got okay here we go well both of them together with even with expedited shipping was seventy five dollars and eighty nine cents so let's see here we got the OEM replacement for my rim single pull, uh, 40 amp heavy duty contactor uh, was 20 bucks, and I in the let me see uh, the shipping on that was 12 dollars to expedite it, 
the capacitor. That was more expensive. That was $34.50. Not sure what that beep was. It was $34.50 for this universal round capacitor replacement. And to expedite, expedite its shipping was nine bucks. So together, both of these replacement guys, 75 bucks in about four days. I ordered, let's see when I ordered this. I ordered it on the third of the month and received it on the seventh. So by advanced calculus, that's four days. And luckily the weather had only one super hot day where I needed the air conditioning unit. And so I assembled this old one that was shorted. But even but being shorted meant that the fan and the condenser would still run all the time. So I manually had to throw my circuit breaker panel when I wanted to shut the unit down for the evening. And one day I had to use it all day. I ran it about six hours, seven hours straight. And the other two days, the temperature luckily was, was uh, I didn't require air conditioning. So I lucked out there twice and I'm pretty well happy. Do it yourself, but be very careful because this stuff will kill you. You can't see it, but uh, you can kill you. In the energizing of this capacitor, some of these capacitors can sit on the shelf after they've been energized. You know, power has been applied to them and then they put them back on the shelf. They can still hold that charge and that will kill you. So be careful. We, if you don't know what you're doing, don't mess with it. Onwards and upwards. Thanks for watching, and if you like, subscribe, and click the big thumbs up.